Hi my honeys, Erica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today's video, it's finally my DIY marble coffee table tutorial. You may have seen me DIY this table on my Instagram or my TikTok, which you should be following me there if you're not. Um, but I'm finally sharing the full YouTube tutorial on it. It's a bit more in depth and I'm listing all the supplies in the description box below so that you can make this yourself if you want to. I'm even gonna give you an option to um, do it a little bit cheaper than I did because I built my dream marble coffee table out of the most luxurious and expensive, mind you, Calicutta Viola marble, but there are some ways you can use some faux marble tiles to get this similar look, so make sure you check the description below. And without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial and leave any questions below if there are any, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need pole wrap, a four by four by eight wood post, four 12 by 24 inch marble tiles. I will link where I sourced my Calicutta Viola marble tiles, as well as some cheaper options in the description box below. A brad nailer, a miter saw, a 24 by 48 inch, three quarter inch thick MDF project panel, liquid nails, and some one by four by eight white oak trim. I started by cutting four 16 inch pieces and two 10 inch pieces from a four by four post. These pieces are going to serve as the legs for my coffee table. For the top, I got a three quarter inch thick MDF project panel, which measures 24 inches wide by 48 inches long. And I drew out a grid pattern so that I can space out the legs evenly on the bottom of my table. I decided to put the legs eight inches in, measuring from that top right corner of the leg. I'm using Liquid Nails construction adhesive to adhere the legs to the bottom of the tabletop. I'm going to make sure that I put a hefty amount of glue under each one, and then I'm going to leave them overnight to cure. After letting those four little leggies cure overnight and the glue is nice and dry, I flipped over the table and now I am drawing out the same grid pattern on the top of the table as I did on the underneath side. The reason for this is it's gonna help me mark where I can screw in the legs from the top. This is going to make the legs extra secure. So I'm starting out with a regular drill bit to pre-drill four holes where the wood legs are. And then I'm using a countersink bit. What this allows me to do is sink the heads of the screws below the surface of the table so that when I go to lay my marble tiles on top of the table, they are nice and flat and level. So I am screwing in the table legs from the top using three inch wood screws to make it nice and sturdy. Here you can see how the screws are laying below the tabletop surface. Next, I'm taking my trusty Liquid Nails construction adhesive again, and I'm taking those 10 inch pieces that I cut from the four x four post yesterday, and I'm basically going to sandwich them between the two legs for support. Put them as close to the bottom as you can, so that way you have an additional area to nail into with your pull wrap. Let your support pieces cure for about an hour and then use those same three inch wood screws to secure them to the table legs. Now I'm taking my pole wrap and I am simply wrapping it around my two legs using my brad nailer as I go. And I'm using one and a quarter inch nails for this project. Here's what it looks like when you have both sides done. Just look at that fluted detail. I really love it so much. I'm taking the extra time to wood fill any of the holes left behind by my brad nailer. This is what takes your project from amateur to professional because it's gonna look so polished in the end. Now I'm taking some wood shims and I'm nailing them to one side of the table. I needed about an eighth of an inch more for the tiles to be nice and flush with the trim I'm planning on doing. So I'm just adding a little bit of depth by doing this before I nail in the wood trim along the side. 
To make absolutely certain that everything is gonna line up correctly, I'm putting my marble tiles on the tabletop just to make sure that that 1 8 inch that I added to the edge is enough to make it perfectly flush. Now I'm cutting some oak trim for the sides of the table. I've enlisted my husband to help me hold up the board while I nail it into the side of the table. This has to be pretty precise because I need it to be perfectly flush with the marble tiles. So it's a very careful process and you wanna make sure that you don't shoot above or below that three quarter inch thick MDF that makes up the side of your table. Once you get one edge in, it's pretty easy to get the rest in. Here's what the table looks like with the one piece of trim on, and now it's time to get the other side on and then glue on the marble tiles. I'm using the same liquid nails construction adhesive and I'm using a lot of it. I wanna make sure these tiles are not going anywhere. I'm also using an extra piece of wood that I had lying around to sort of flatten the glue just a little bit because I wanna make sure that it sits nice and level on the top of the table so the marble doesn't have a chance of cracking or anything like that. It's important to keep stone very level because you don't want it to crack at any point. And now that the glue is perfectly level, I'm adding the tiles onto my table. It should be a perfect fit just with a hairline seam along the edge that I plan on caulking after the fact but it should go in once everything lines up perfectly. I'm taking the time to make sure that all the tiles are lined up exactly how I want them to be before they cure with that glue. And once those tiles have cured for about an hour, I'm going to add the last two pieces of trim on. It's important to save the last two pieces for the end. And then I've wood filled any of the seams and I'm using my orbital sander to just really smooth out those edges. I just wanna make sure that I get a nice, clean, sanded finish to the edge of my table so there's no splinters or anything like that. And this table is ready for stain. For the stain, I'm going super light. This is Minwax's Color Wash in the color Barnwood. It is just a super light, very natural white oak color. And then once it's just about dry, I'm taking my sanding block and I'm going over everything that I've stained just to really soften the stain. I don't want it to be a very dramatic stain. And here it is in all its glory, y'all. Here's the finished table.